Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Mary with Mary Greeley News. It is Sunday, April 27th, 2025. It's been a while since I've covered earthquakes in Israel. And I thought I would also add in earthquakes that have occurred in the Red Sea. All links to the website will be down below. The Red Sea earthquakes are covered by Egypt. And all you have to do is, for Google Earth, um, put in the location, like here in North and East. Um, there was a um, magnitude 2.49. They go into more detail than USGS um, in the sense of uh, defining the uh, earthquake. Also, a magnitude 1.95, a 2.07, and I moved it too fast. A 1.25, these are all today, I believe, and a 0 0.89. I also have another website for Egypt. Um, it gives you the uh, location, like here, Suez. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Alexandria. Um, and these are earthquakes that go back to 2024. I'm not sure how far back they go. I haven't really looked. We got 2023. Um, I did look up, oh, here we got a uh, 7.8 port side, um, February of 2023. So all you have to do is click on the link, 7.8 um, Turkey, that was in Turkey. So let's see if I have it. I don't know if I have that location marked out for an actual earthquake. Yeah, it's up by a triple junction. Okay, that's where they're saying it occurred at, but I have it a little bit farther north. North. Yeah, I did not know, did not have information about the Red Sea and the earthquakes, historical earthquakes that have occurred down there in that location. I don't know if anyone's actually interested in that, but I find it interesting. So let's go there. In 1955, there was a 5.7. 1984, a 5.1. Um, 1981, also a 5.3. These are some of the uh, more recent earthquakes. Yeah, Egypt does um, the coverage of that. The largest earthquake that occurred, um, I guess you could say, for the uh, Middle East, the uh, Mediterranean, Israel, that was felt was that earthquake that they had there in Turkey. Um, that was a magnitude 6.2. The red ones are all the most recent earthquakes, and then it goes by date that you can see here. These earthquakes are all covered by Israel. Yeah, the Bible talks about different prophecies, things that we're supposed to watch for that happen and will be coming there in Israel. Um, Israel does experience earthquakes due to its location on the Dead Sea Transform Fault, um, a major fault system where the African and Arabian plate tectonics meet. On average, Israel experiences about 16, maybe 17 earthquakes a year, and they're mostly minor, a magnitude 2 or higher. Um, there is between 1 and 2 earthquakes per year of a magnitude 4 or higher. Now, supposedly, for a magnitude 5 or higher, they happen roughly, oh, every eight and a half years. In the past 10 years, there has been 44 earthquakes of a magnitude 4 or higher, um, all occurring within 300 kilometers of Israel. So that would be about 190 miles. Now, for the Red Sea, which is this area going through here, they actually average maybe about 24 earthquakes per year. Now, in the northern Red Sea, seismicity is lower than in the southern Red Sea. A notable swarm of earthquakes occurred in 1992, involving over 180 local earthquakes that migrated northward over the uh, five days. The southern part of the Red Sea has higher seismic hazard, uh, particularly near the Gulf of Suez. Gulf of Aqaba and Afar, triple junction where the Red Sea Rift meets Aden, 
uh, the ridge East African Rift. Egypt's Red Sea coast averages 22.5 quakes per year, mostly small, less than a magnitude 3. Six earthquakes of a magnitude 5 have occurred with the recurrence um, of every 5 to 10 years. So here on Google Earth, here's that triple junction. This is a far right there. And they have more earthquakes, but I don't have a marked out. Anyways, I just recently found that uh, website for Egypt, and I thought that was interesting. If you're interested in it, yeah, the link will be down below um, this video. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.